Gamers, all around the Diamond universe, we are here with Diamond players in Nomad Mega Random Seed Chosen by your truly real gamer, me. We got eight different civilizations. Let's get it started and let's reveal the map so you guys can see it for the first time. We have had two water maps. One was kind of the, the wild one, the last one. The previous one was also wild, but it was like pretty much island map. This one, we're mixing it up. We got rocks and one river splitting the map in two. Let's introduce our gamers. They're split kind of evenly, actually. I'm liking that. Yeah, they're split kind of evenly. I'm looking at the villagers on the map. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, we do have eight different civs. By the way, I want to say uh, the, the sometimes the players are spawning like next to each other and building theses next to each other. That's just, that just the spawn, you know? I can't do much. That's the mega random. The first player to drop down the TC. Actually, so many of them are delaying their TCs. It's kind of wild. Uh, tongue ass over here uh, with a great name, the pink abbasid. Above him, we got Coltran, the English green gamer. Sakova, we have the Rus over here in kind of like the middle left position. In the top, we got Matt Boss, the purple Mongo. And blue is on a blue has been running the whole time. I don't know where Blue is going. Oh, Mareka. Yabo is playing. Uh-huh. And Yabo, he spawned like over here. But he went all the way to the corner. Or not corner, but the edge of the map. But he is actually just approaching closer and closer to the opponent. And uh, El Nosabe. I think that Mad Boss saw him. But I don't think Yabo saw him. And Yabo is going to build a TC here on the deer. He's got the gold. So that's nice. Tang ass in the bottom, by the way. Why is he gathering stone? Huh? This is diamond, by the way. Um, yeah, pink has gold all the way here. Then we got no meta, the orange French. We got uh, Yavuz, Yavuzzi, the Red Ot Omen. And on the top, we got one top lad at the, on the, at the top, on the top, right there. The yellow H-R-E, E, E. Now, if I'm a betting man, based on spawns, French has the best spawn. French always has the best spawn somehow. I don't know how. But in every FFA ever, the French has the best spawn. I mean, he has this whole bottom side of the map. Now, Teal potentially has also pretty good spawn. But we will see. We will see. Abbasid, I'm kind of steering for him. I mean, I get the thought process. It's like, oh, I'm going to make a TC in the corner. So that I'm away from the players. But then if you make it and you have no resources around you, then... Check W and that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. That, that's dead. Now, um, I don't know how many players saw. Let me check their vision. So Blue knows that there's water, but he is not making a dock. Mad Boss sees that there's water, no dock. Green scouts pink. Yellow knows there's water, but. He is rallying to wood, so I think yellow will go for a dock. We got red, has a dock already. So red is the only player right now that has an active dock. And, I mean, that's a pretty good position to be in. Uh, Teal Roos has no clue. By the way, again, these guys do not know what the seed is. So they actually don't know what kind of map they got. Um, like, I picked the seed, but they have not seen, seen the map. They don't know what kind of map it is. So they kind of have to scout and see what's going on. French know that knows there's water, but <laughs> he actually has wait. Oh no, he has no wood. <laughs> he has these couple of trees, and the next wood is here. Holy shit! 
Luckily, there's no one next to him. If there was people next to him, that'd be scary. Uh, oops. We got, obviously, pink in the corner. Uh, he's gonna go for that mill. Blue. Yeah. We covered the rest of the players. And Yabu is gonna go for a tower plus a little gold on the gold. He wants to make sure the Mongol doesn't tower rush him. And Mongol just gonna go for fast age up, it seems. Sacred size are on the middle, three of them. Markets are on the middle ish. One is here, one is here, and I think that's it for markets. Um, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, again, roughest position for sure for tongue ass. He's gonna go for the gold now. I, I think this was definitely a misclick. Like, maybe he thought this is gold for some reason. I, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. We do see deer stones. This game is live, by the way. I just usually wait, like, 10-20 minutes for the players to start to make sure there's no crashes or something. And then I start casting. <coughs> so, yeah. We see deer stones. Uh, we see gremlin over here. Would like it maybe if it was further like here. Oh, he's got double gold. Okay. But oh, that would be a good gremlin too, right here. Plenty of options. And Mad Boss is in feudal right now. I'm not sure what his plan is. No, like I thought maybe he's gonna make like. Uh, Attacking units or something and this Barbican is so defensive. I'd probably go for it like here or something take some stone some wood But he's going super super defensive English over here got farms and I'm assuming Okay, I assumed wrong. I assumed that the English is gonna go for longbows and denting the Abbasid, but he's going for Abbey of Maymays so we'll see how that one's gonna turn out. Now people are aging up, and that's nice, but Ottoman, he's got nine fishing ships, which by far he has the best economy. The age up is gonna be late, but there's no one next to him, so he doesn't give a crap. And um, Mad Boss is gonna make be making some towers. Still no production buildings. Um, and we do see military wing for tongue ass which is an interesting choice because usually you see abbasids go for economic wing and then especially with the stone here try to get second tc but if i'm green or pink you kind of have to fight each other because you are too close to one another so there's no real option there and now english is gathering a lot of wood for Oh, never mind, it's back on gold. Rus is now going for water. Okay, so delayed water for Rus. Maybe just found it recently, not sure. French is on wa- oh. Aging up the School of Cavalry. All the way there. Second dock for Ottoman. And everyone's just kind of booming right now. Chapel in the back for HRE. That's a thick chapel right there. Pretty good. Buries a lot of wood, some stone. And the first thing that's going to be coming out is galley. And uh, the thing is, this, this is not going to be a good uh, good one for Mongol. Because, yeah, I mean, ooh, is he going to lose anything? Because even if he upgrades this tower, uh, HRE can just make a dock here and, and, you know, get stuff there or make dock here. So that tower doesn't do much. On the other side, we got Coltrane doing a tower rush on the berries, but the military wing comes in. Double archer range plus king. <clears throat> and I think this is going to be pretty rough for tongue ass to hold, to be honest. This is going to be a pretty, pretty rough one. And, you know, sometimes quarter spawns can be amazing. Look at these trees. Sometimes quarter spawns can be amazing. 
And, you know, when you spawn with just villagers, uh, you don't see where anything is. And you can get the best possible, you know, juicy spawn with a lot of resources, no one's next to you. This is not one of those. I can tell this is not one of those. This is the opposite of that. And this is what comes with the risk of making your TC in the corner because you kind of block yourself. English can actually just wall him. If I'm if I'm green, I just wall right here. That's it. Pink is about to run out of food, by the way. That is the last sheep, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, one top ledge just makes a dock right here. Uh, oh my god, he's cocking him, dude. Look at him. He's gonna take his stone. What the fuck? Yo, bro, chill. Wait, why is he pulling 16 village? Dude, he's gonna stonewall him. He is going to 100% stonewall him. Just watch. By the way, they did ask, uh, can we stonewall in feudal or castle? And I said, I mean, feudal is fine. Because people have been stonewalling in feudal before in these FFAs, so whatever. Like, we're not going to use tournament rules for stonewalls. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. The Spink see this. That's a destruction. That is a fucking destruction. Damn, brother. He's really gonna do him like that. Meanwhile, on this side, we have Mad Boss with 900 stone. Aged up, and he looks like he just wants to make... He's making horsemen? Huh? Matt, make, make Keshix. Oh, God. Yeah, added mold. Oh, God, he can put longbows on the, on the walls, too. Okay. Best chance that Pink has right now is if China kills Green. Because the thing is, this is all cool, right? But Abbasid is on 2TC booming. And, he, you know, he has some wood to work with here. So if China kills English, maybe that opens up for Abbasid to run away or something. Uh, Rus is going for age up. He's got decent amount of fishing ships. Oh, they're actually, pretty good amount. Seven... No, ten Rus fishing ships. I mean, that's a lot. Uh, we got Ottoman right here, making Sipahi, got some military schools, French 2TC, aging up with Guildhall, chilling, again, French players, blessed every single time. They always get the most insane spawns. He does not have uh, two of the farms working. An HRE in the corner, man at arms. We got some knights possibly coming. Yo, look at him. He snacks on that relic. By the way, all the relics on this map are on the middle, as you can see, a lot of them. And there's red in between there, so. Uh, and red looks like he's looking at the top right now. And that is not good for yellow. But, to be fair, Yo, he's gonna trade. Uh, to be fair, yellow is making a lot of units, and yellow is fishing eco just like red. So both of their ecos are very, very strong. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Third TC for French, and again, French is just booming. Just booming, don't give a fuck. He has two imams in the uh, in the TC. I think that's a misclick because he's not getting them out. DC. DC. And why is he making horsemen? Mad boss making horsemen. 
Oh no, he's dropping off gold here too. Mm -hmm. What's the orange vision like? Right, he, he knows. I mean, he's seen red here and he's seen uh, uh, teal, but he knows he's chilling. I'm surprised he hasn't walled off. Like, if I'm him, I just fucking stonewall right across. Like, just stonewall everything. He even knows- he even knows there's a mountain here. Like, just wall here, wall here. Just wall your whole side of the map, and you are chilling. Abbasid <laughs> is making buildings close to the wall because he has no space. And as he chops down wood, he kind of builds another building, another farm. Another whatever. Bro. He's gonna white tower his ass too. HRE second TC. Show pink eco. What eco man? He's just he's got stone and wood and food. Look, he's literally chopping through the wood and then making farms. I mean, I don't even know how you get out of here. To be honest. Imagine if there was like a line here of trees all the way down. And he had... Imagine if you had to chop like all the way down to get out. That would be an epic escape. But. On the top side, we see destruction. So again, I don't know, but Mad Boss did not go for a dock. He's getting bullied from water by yellow and red. And he's... He's been making horsemen. I don't know why. I'm not sure why no Keshiks. And this is Chinese Lancers, by the way. China on 1 TC. But he has got so many Lancers that he can just push through. And now we see the great escape. Oh, yeah, Where can he even run? He's gonna run. Oh, God. He's gonna run. Oh, no. He's gonna run into Spaskaya. He would need to run all the way around. Does he even see where the enemies are? Oh, brother. He should know that Teal is here. Oh, that's not... Mm -mm, no, no, no. I think if you're purple, you just bite the bullet and you just go all the way around and you just hope because you know what are you gonna do here there's there's no resource he knows because he scouted this area so he knows there's no resources i would just bail all the way around and now red is fighting yellow at the same time red is going to be pushing into yellow on the top side he is trading right he's got 11 traders 33 gold each on each trip Khan goes down, that's a GG right there. And uh, Ab Acid is gonna be pushing on. Now the funny thing is, English doesn't actually have that many units. And these are Dark Age men at arms. Oh no, the wood line is running out, guys. He should make a market and sell his food. Lancers over here. Oh, it's a destruction. Oh, it's a destruction. I can't look. Oh god, I can't look. HRE? I mean, HRE, I was gonna say, kind of chilling, but that's a lot of units in front of his base. A lot of units. Rus, shit ton of ships. Spaskaya Tower. Oh, villagers are just... Where's his villagers? Oh my god, he ran backwards? Now, if China attacks green, green will actually die, I think. Because these are, again, these are Lancers. I don't know if they got any upgrades. Doesn't look like there's Blacksmith. But, oh. Oh my god. He's like, yo, 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 get him from that side. Get him from that side. Mm -hmm. Did the player choose Sivs? Yes. So I think HRE is going to be able to defend here, for sure. HRE should definitely upgrade his uh, Spearman though. 
considering he's making a lot. He's not making anything right now. He really needs to make Spearman and upgrade him. Meanwhile, on the bottom side... No, 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 don't go there, bro. Go around. Oh, he probably got attacked by the keep. Yo, he's bullying his... Dude, red is gonna maul on yellow. Red and yellow are gonna go into a big, big fight. What's more sad, the Mongol or the Abyssal? He breaks through! He does it! Attack the units, bro! Yo, he can climb the wall! Climb the wall! But these are now men at arms. These are men at arms, and he has not sold. He's, he could actually age up by just selling wood now. Oh my god, and it's a destruction. It's a dis it's a complete destruction. And dead right there, guys. You know in the you know in the Conqueror, like, high-level Conqueror FFAs we used to do? Everyone used to do this. Like... Like, yo, go to the corner, and if you, there's no one there, you win. But then people more and more started not going corners because of stuff like that. If the opponent is, like, next to you, and you have no exit, you're just fucked. You're just auto off. And uh, yellow is going to get pushed back. A bastard is out. Now, English is not really in a good spot right now. And the reason he's not in a good spot is he does not have a lot of resources to work with. Like right now he has, but the longer this game goes, English is kind of stuck behind two players. And mind you, these guys can see the player scores. So if they look to the side, they should see that the orange is the strongest player. But a lot of players don't pay attention to that. And I think it's too early to be like, yo, he's too strong, let's kill him. But as the game keeps going, he's about to age up as well. They should focus on orange because he has by far the, the biggest base and the biggest eco. And I don't know if he has... Okay, he has a big army, not the biggest. Um... So they should definitely try to do something to him. And purple is just driving around. Got some villagers right here. And he's just driving around with his TC. He's got tear stones here. He's got pastures here. I don't know where those sheep are going. But he is all over the... Okay, he's gonna drop off here. Oh no. Oh no. And now Teal! He's going for green. China, after deleting purple, double TC. And I think China is probably also gonna turn on green, but... Where are Chinese units? The ants. Oh my god, he's going Imperial, bro. You got five knights. That's bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. It, it will not pay off. He's dead. Like, he's just straight up dead. He went Imperial with five. Okay, nine Lancers. And, uh,. I think uh, if, if Teal commits, like he is screwed. Teal might go back though. Red right here, mining some gold. Battle coming up at the top. These guys are still going at it. Yo, just burn the keep. Burn the keep. 
He's got 40 melee units, so he can actually burn the building somewhat quick. Keep is being built. That ain't gonna work, brother. Mm -mm, not today. And English is like, okay, I'm not getting attacked. That's, that's cool with me. That's cool with me. And now Coltrane can add Berkshire. And when Berkshire goes up, it's gonna be a lot harder to push him. And he is running. What is he making? Is he making hand cannoneers? He's making archers? Alright. Raid in the... Uh, 11 Lancers, some Sepahi. Yo, yeah, oh, okay, never mind. I was like, yo, for, you forgot your units. But he's got some. I mean, he's gonna lose some workers, but a lot of workers, but you know, it is what it is. These guys fishing. French, disgusting. Disgusting. Oh no. How many? 21 Janissaries though. Okay, the Janissaries are actually gonna melt this. I know this seems like, okay, he's dead. The Janissaries are gonna melt this. Even though they're Castle Janissaries versus Imperial Knights. They're absolutely shrinking this. Look at that. Destruction. Damn, he got fucking smoked right there. Dude, if he makes a wonder, I hope it's over here. And I think that, uh, well, other than Blue, who is getting absolutely Shrek right now, like, that is not enough units. These are also veteran archers, by the way. Your Chinese archers look pretty cool, but you never see Chinese archers. Because you always see Zugino or crossbows. But I, I don't know how he's going to survive. I just don't see it. Because Rusa has really good economy as well. Oh my god. That's a destruction. Guys, if you're next to your opponents, in a free for all. Don't age up the Imperial with no units. That's all I'm gonna say. Now what is Green doing over here? What is this? What is this step Green? He is planning. Mm -hmm. He is planning. That's for a wonder. I mean, that wonder position, kind of busted actually. If he puts it here, that's kind of busted as hell. Alright, let's check what's going on. Yellow Steel Castle. He can age up. Oh my god, he lost a lot of villagers. Okay, you definitely want to age up with Swabia here. Maybe he's thinking, like, do I age up with Swabia? You do, yeah. You lost way too many workers, brother. How many relics? One relic? That's it? Two? Okay, two relics. That is not good. Two relics is not good. And now Teal is gonna push into green. Teal economy, pretty good, but... Nothing, nothing crazy. Also, Teal's got no walls, by the way. As I say that, he's making stone walls. But Teal's base is open on like five different sides. Here, we got Otomen. Oh my god, Otomen is struggling right now. Getting banged by red, or oh, sorry, by, uh, by yellow and orange. Not working out for him. Uh, 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 green. Ew, 84 workers, definitely needs more. Oh, green's been on one TC the whole game. That's pretty bad. And then, let's look at purple's economy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He's burning buildings with villagers. And he's building a second TC. He's gonna come back for sure. And then orange. 
He's got a guild hall on gold, not on stone. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Wait, who just aged up? I just heard an age up. Or am I crazy? You guys, Mongol is coming back. Oh no, I heard a uh, start of the age up. He did not go Swabi, even though he's got like 70 workers. And French is still fishing. Yo, Mongol, no! Don't shoot! Oh no, he just revealed him. Yo, run. He's burning buildings for resources, but that's. I mean, that's just sad, really. That's just sad as hell. This landmark's dead. This landmark's dead. This is the last landmark. Here we go. Ah, shit. Here we go again. And I think Rus has all the relics, by the way. Someone has them. One. Two only for Rus. Does, does, does French have them? Oh, French got four relics. Jesus Christ, man. Destruction over here. And this might look good for Ottoman. Is it though? You know what I mean? No. Oh god. Because HRE can remake. He's got so many uh, workers. And uh, well, he is stonewalling him just right out of side of his base. The keep's gonna go down, and now Ottoman is steering. Dude, I would have loved if someone ran in here. Dude, imagine you make a wonder here. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Imagine if Abbasid had that on the bottom side. That'd be so sick. Maybe he was... Maybe as Tang Ass was digging through here. In the bottom left corner. Maybe he was like, yo, maybe I can get out here somewhere. Imagine his face when he went all the way to the corner and it just pulled off. Run, brother. You know what he should do? He should chop here and hide his TC like right there. Because that's his last landmark. Meanwhile, these guys are still fighting and I'm expecting French to kill Red soon. What the fuck is that? God damn, that's a lot of markets. That is a lot of markets. Meanwhile, green and teal going at it. Let me check the resources. Russia, decent amount. English. English is going to be printing units here. So that's going to be pretty rough to deal with. Because English doesn't need a lot. He's got a lot of farms. He's getting gold. And Streltsy are not that good against English. Because of the Longbows. You need like Manganos to take care of the Longbows if you want to make Streltsy. Oh no! No! Sacre bleu! Yo! You need to, you need to unpack and, and chop this. Does he realize though? Look, he's clicking here. Can he? <gasps> Dude, he's doing it. Mongol is doing it. I'm telling you. He's doing it.
French veteran spearman, as you do. Chillin'. Dude, he is doing it. He, he needs to hide this TC though, I don't think he realizes. Like, if he doesn't get detected, great. But if I'm him, I chop through this shit all the way and put my TC like there. Because that is your last landmark. And if that goes down... French is on two... Sa French could go for Sacred Side win, by the way. If he gets this one... Uh-oh. I know what this means. I know what this means. Mm -hmm. It's wonder time. It's gonna be wonderful. Anyway. I think these two guys are going to be denting into each other for a while. Wait. Wait. No. No. I, that's, that's not why I said wait. I said wait because I just realized that Rus has no uh, food economy. All his food economy... What the fuck is that, bro? Why not just put a wall here? What is this dented fucking wall? It's not even wall. All his food economy was on water, so he has no farms. Like, he's gonna be running out of food soon unless he transitions to farms. And he doesn't have that many workers. 82 idle! What the f Bruh! What are you doing, Step Sakwala? You gotta. Dude! 60 idle! 45 idle! 77 idle! Oh no, don't. Don't. No! No, don't. Do Yo! Mongol, I hope he puts the workers in TC and fucking blasts the workers. Ottoman is somehow still alive, building TCs. Don't run! Stand your ground! He's like, I'm gonna just leave. Oh my god, he unpacked both TCs. He unpacked both TCs. I don't know what's happening. They look like they crashed. But look, he's moving units. He didn't crash. He's moving unit. Purple looked like he crashed. Or he just went there. No, he's back. What is happening? Okay, do you guys think I should remake? Alright, so... Hopefully this gets edited out. I don't know if it will or not properly, but basically we just watched 10 minutes of players idling villagers, nothing was happening, and I, we thought that they got hijacked by aliens or bots. But apparently there was an observer bug, so we just caught up with the replay and hopefully it doesn't bug again. All right, so let me just catch up. If suddenly the game skipped or something, we had an observer bug where two of the players went to AFK. So apparently the game bugged, then we caught up with the replay, and then it bugged again, and then I had to close the game, reopen, and then it worked properly. And now it's working properly. So we are continuing. Amazing, holy shit. This has been like a 30 minute adventure or 40 minute adventure for us on Twitch. Jesus Christ. All right. So with that being said, we see French. He's prepping for wonder like an hour. Yeah, it's 45 minutes actually. 
Uh, we see French is prepping for Wonder. Green and Teal are fighting. Purple's running. He ran away from here. Poor guy. Red is trying to survive. Jesus Christ, dude. 45 minute delay. God damn, bro. So basically what happened for those that, that are maybe tuning in now on Twitch or you're watching this on YouTube and you're confused. Teal had 80 villagers idle for like 12 minutes and green just went AFK and we were like, what the fuck's happening? But we could see some stuff moving, but the villagers were just there. And apparently it's an observer bug, which I never had before, so. Here's a first time for everything. And here it is. Oh, yellow eliminates Mad Boss. Okay, beats his ass down. This landmark? I'm not sure if he got repaired fully or not. But the TC from purple is burning. And he is dead. And no meta is building a wonder. With five villagers. Okay, more are coming. Holy shit, look at the setup. Look at the setup the brother is going for. God damn. Okay, our teal and green gonna be like, yo, 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 stop, 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 stop beating my ass. Orange got a wonder. Orange is also Omega trading with uh, 45 traders. Okay, it's a decent trade. And yellow looks like he wants to kill red and uh, red is gonna be very sad because he's gonna be dead That didn't rhyme quite as well as I wanted it to but it is what it is and these two dents are still fighting And orange got a wonder Almost so the opponents are playing perfectly for orange. They're killing each other and no one's attacking orange Uh but let's see. Maybe they maybe they unite. Now Teal finishes a keep. And they I mean they look like they're still fighting. There's, there's no slowing down. Wait. What are you doing, Step Orange? Did you did you just pull away the villagers from Wonder? Imagine if he keeps waiting for 15 minutes and thinks he's winning and there's no wonder completed. Kick W, let's see. Are the villagers gonna go to the wonder? Okay, they are gonna finish it. If he loses by a minute, I mean, we know why. Alright, uh What? Wait, red taps out. Wait, does orange not know? Wait, does he not realize that they, they see the wonder already? Like, if you look from yellow point of view, he sees the wonder. Maybe he's like, oh, I don't want to finish it yet. Because I, I want to build some more stuff. And I was going to finish it. Yeah, they already saw the wonder, bro. The moment you put it down, they see it. Just so you know for next time. Destroy no meta wonder. Three players. Wait, did it bug again? No way. It's not bugged, they were chatting. Okay. I hope so. Okay, okay, they're moving. Holy shit, that spooked me. And uh, HRE is taking this seriously. He is building a fuck ton of shit. And Green and Teal are like, yo, we should still fight. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna go kill you. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm about to beat your ass. And French got so many keeps, so much production. And we got Denta over here with green and teal. They're not interested in stopping the wonder. They're interested in stopping each other. 
that's what matters guys i'm gonna i'm gonna just so you know i'm gonna run the replay a little bit sped up because you guys might think we've been here for 50 minutes but we've been here for like two hours already because of the whole replay bugging or not replay the, the observer bugging and all that so if this game goes for much longer then i'm gonna be here for five hours you know and now teal walls off and basically tells green you can go all the way around <laughs> are they actually gonna fight glad we've got it back calm briggsy thanks for her donut me too brother thank you appreciate it me too appreciate it appreciate it. french is going for a counter attack into yellow and uh yellow i mean his army is not that strong it's like some spearmen and, and few hand cannoneers not much going on there and now we see teal move out he's got two bombar bombards wait where are orange landmarks there's one here one two three oh god oh god Bro, he has no protection on the landmarks. Where are his units? He's got... Oh, God. Green is pushing through the top side now. Yellow is pushing through here. And the funny thing is, I don't think... Dude, Teal doesn't even know where the landmarks are. That's the funniest part. Teal's got no clue. He's never scouted. And he's gonna run into three straight landmarks right here. Now, how, oh my, he's walling more. How long before Orange realizes? <laughs> how long before he realizes he's about to run out? Dude, if, he, if these units start moving, he's he's shitting himself. Look, he's making more walls here. Oh god. Maybe they skip Red Palace though. Green is coming from the top. They're just destroying everything. The Wonder Tracker, eight minutes. They got plenty of time. Uh, by the way, uh, <clears throat> no meta if you're watching this later. Uh, building barracks around uh, keeps does not produce their cost. It, it only works for stables and archery. Oh, he's got more barracks. <laughs> he's got seed workshops too. <laughs> Yeah, it only works for stables and archer ranges. It does not work for anything else. And three landmarks went down. Now, if you are one of these players, you see three landmarks just went down. Three. And, dude, he's moving out. I don't know if he realized, but he is moving out. And if one of them is like, yo, yo, yo. He's got three landmarks are dead. Find the last one. That's it. He is coming out. Okay, he 100% realizes what's going on. He's losing relics. Red Palace is so cool. This is so fucking funny. And Yellow got no clue that his shit's right here. He gets dented completely by the Mangonels. Oh god. Wait, is he gonna... Oh god, he sees the palace, the Red Palace. Now, if they're chatting, then Teal should be typing, yo, he's got one landmark. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yo, they realize. <laughs> yo, this is going to be the funniest loss. Look at his what? <laughs> Look at his fucking wonder. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he's gonna lose. <laughs> now, to be fair, guys, these things, I mean, uh, listen, I know watching it, this seems so. <laughs> this seems like so bad, very like. How can you forget? But when you're playing, 
sometimes you just forget that you don't have a landmark. I mean, I lost one-on-one -on -one games where I'm like fucking pumping and, and, and then the, my screen just goes gray and I'm like, what? I'm like, oh yeah, that's my last landmark. But this shit's fucking hilarious. I mean, I guarantee you no meta is cringing at this, right? He's got 22,000 score. He's cringing at this. What were his resources? Can we see now that he's dead? Ah, oh, but he had so many units in Q, probably. So, he's probably cringing at this, right? And I'm sure he doesn't make this mistake 9 out of 10 times. <laughs> no meta says, haha, I'm so dented. <laughs> Listen, it happens, brother. It happens. Uh, but that is funny as fuck. <laughs> That is funny as fuck. All right, back to the game. Now, I would probably say that Yellow has the best spot. Now, he can get the relics. I don't know if he will. But he can get the relics. And he is. There's a prelate coming. And he's got the whole side of the map for himself now. He can technically wall this with stone wall. Wall this. This. And that's it, the whole map is rolled. He's got a lot of resources to work with, right? A lot of resources. Now green is doing some raiding over here. And and yellow has 84 workers, but holy fuck, he's got a lot of resources though. He just needs gold, like, he should just, yeah, he's already gonna vacuum. Like, there's so much gold here. Look at this. So, yellow's gonna get a huge boost right here. On the other side, Coltrane. Uh, he can potentially go for Thick Wonder in the back here, assuming he doesn't get, lose all his landmarks. And uh, another reason why I say Yellow has the best spot is because these two guys might be denting into each other for an hour. Because they're next to each other, so it kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's okay, no matter. It happens. It is what it is. Sometimes it really do be like that. Guys, don't be assholes to, to no meta, man. Come on. It's funny, but you're gonna be, you're gonna like bully him over it. You know? And, uh, yellow looks like he wants to attack teal. If Yellow finds the French markets, I mean, he doesn't even need to find French markets. He can just trade. There's a neutral market right here. He can just trade from here to there. It would still be thick. He can trade with a dock over here. All the way down. And we do see push coming. No, nope, never mind. He's going back. English is pushing in. Uh, I think this is going to be battle for ages. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. So, so you need to understand why I'm speeding up. I can see... You see the top right over there? The game time? I can see what the game time is. And let me tell you... Uh, it's for a while. All right. Um, I'm not sure how, because there's only three players remaining. So I would assume one of them would make a wonder. You know. I think part of the issue, or issue, part of the reason why we have these long, long games is because the map is gigantic. Usually we have um, what's it called? Usually we play on large, but because these seeds are on gigantic seeds, we have to use gigantic map, otherwise the seeds don't spawn properly. And, uh... Okay, yellow's gonna snack on some green villagers. 
Now, that's a lot of mango. That's what I like to see. That's what you gotta do against English as Roos. Mass Strelzi, and then you can just go mango no sprinkle so that the longbows don't do anything to you. It's rigged, I tell ya. Mm -hmm. And a little move command over here. You know what? I'm just gonna... We're just gonna tap this in times 8 for now. Trust my judgment. If an epic battle happens or something, I'll, I'm gonna slow down. But as long as this rallying into each other is happening, we're gonna watch a little bit sped up. Yellow coming here. And yellow is getting a lot of golds. Ju juicing up a lot of golds and he took all the relics, alright? So he's gonna be working with quite a bit. Now, Roos actually, he's out of resources. Coltrane? I mean, Coltrane's got 1000 gold per minute from farms. Or probably relics maybe too. Oh, he's doing a little trade as well. Okay, and now we see yellow pushing here, teal pushing here. On this side, green's losing villagers, so green all of a sudden is getting beaten by the two gamers and one top lad with trillion resources right now. If he goes and finds stone, he could make a wonder quite easily. Quite, quite easily. Ooh. Man, it's getting late. It's 1 a.m. Jesus. Um. Then yeah, Teal backing off a little bit. He's gonna make more TCs. He realizes. Oh my God, he's on 107 supply. Holy! He's got so many resources here that he's not getting. It's kind of, kind of weird. Meanwhile, yellow. He's, he's ready. He's coming for that green booty. He's making a lot of production and he is burning the farms. Now, green... He's got... Green got 45 scouts. And now he is trading. Oh, no. That's a sad trade right there. <laughs> he's, he's getting three gold to trade. Let's look at this. Yo! Three gold. You know what he doesn't know? Oh, actually, no, this is. It's not a. Never mind. It's not a trade wing. I mean, listen, it is what it is. Times are tough. And now yellow is trading with markets over here, but he's kind of taking a long route around. Maybe, maybe destroy this a little bit. Speed up that process. And now. Sakova with his whole 142 supply and 83 military is gonna attack yellow that has 60,000 resources. Don't think it's gonna go too well for him. But, you know, maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> he's this. <laughs> he realizes he's destroying a neutral keep. Um, yellow is now pushing over here and green with 45. Harry Potter horses is coming out with all the capes to burn some towers. That's beautiful. That is beautiful stuff. He's got enough. Dude, if I'm yellow. Oh, actually, no. I was going to say, if I'm yellow, I make a wonder here. But he, if he makes a wonder there, he's gonna lose landmark. So maybe not. Maybe you just make a wonder here, you know, just for safety. He would hold a wonder so easily because of the the crosses. They're so narrow. He could defend quite nicely. Mm -hmm. He put a relic in there, and that relic is now gone. Am I not going to upload epic phase on YouTube anymore? I, I will. I haven't uploaded one for five days. It's going to be alright. It's going to be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I just don't upload him every, every day. It's 
Sometimes we gotta do some other stuff. Now listen, if he makes a wonder, they can do the copium chop through through here and backstab his ass. It's only gonna take a trillion years to chop through that. Okay, now I understand why this game went for this long. It's because they're all standing in their base. Dude, no. If, if we actually had like money, like gold or platinum matches, people would literally sit in their base for like three hours. I kid you not. I really hope he doesn't make a wonder here, because that should not be funny as hell. In a way I do, but I also don't for him. And he definitely has an upper wonder. Coltrane, he's doing his amazing trade uh, over here. Oh, uh, P uh, Teal, sorry. I'll try to find the color there. He's slowly mining on his side of the map. And they are all just, we're all just chilling together right now. We're all just chilling. Three and a half thousand gold per minute. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, we are chilling. How much gold is he getting? I think like 100, 143, 144. Ooh, I'm tired as hell. This dude last two day last two days we had so many issues with the FFAs. Wait, what was the issue yesterday? Or when was the platinum one? Oh, there was no issue, it was just long as hell. Right? Yeah, that FFA was actually great. With the wonders. It was just yeah, it was just fucking long. Wait, was it two and a half hours? Yeah, that one was great. It was just so fucking long. This one, not only is fucking long, but we also had an hour of trying to load an observer without bugging. So it's like, technically this one might break the, uh, the time. Yo, hold up. Yo, hold up. Yo, hold up. Two landmarks. That's a lot of man at arms. That's 104 man at arms. Oh, just commit. Just commit. Just commit. Oh, that's oh, that's gonna be a distraction. I think. Oh no! Wait, is this coordinated snipe? Is this coordinated snipe? Bro, oh, just kill us, Lampard. Check W, he didn't destroy it. And Teal? Oh my god, he lives. Well. I would say that's pretty unlucky, but it was really unlucky. Uh, Green didn't really focus fire with all the units. And we do see Great Palace of Flensburg. Yo. Now, the wonder is up. Yo, that'd be a sick snipe from yellow. From one top light on the top. That'd be a sick snipe. If you actually snipe teal, and then the wonder finishes, and it's a one on one. But, uh oh, I've seen this one before. Okay, he moved them. He's repairing the landmarks. Green's moving forward. Teal is about to move as well. Can he hold? Now, let's be honest, his setup for this is actually not good at all. It's quite cringe, to be honest. Why? Well, a lot of his production is in front of French, when he killed him earlier, and in front of Green, which is great, but you need production back in your base. And uh, 
he does not have a lot of that. And green is doing a little cheeky. He's building docks here, and yellow sees it, but he ain't reacting. And there's no... Is this gonna be, like, one of those? Is he just gonna, like, literally kill the... the is this gonna be one of those? Where he just kills the wonder, and there's... Sources, by the way. Emergency repair? Oh, that is not in range. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! No. <laughs> Look at his resources! Yo, make stuff! He's got no production. He can make pure night. Yo, is he gonna die? <laughs> He's got a lot of units here. He's not gonna die, I think. <laughs> but that was pretty fucking funny. I gotta, I gotta give him that. That was pretty funny. Now, 63 workers. He's lost a lot of traders. A lot of traders. Now there's Kyrax, and it seems like Green and Teal are just gonna keep pushing right now. They are suddenly friends. And I see what, uh, what uh, Rus is doing. He is getting the three sacred sites. So we might be getting a sacred site attempt. As Yellow is trying to defend, he's like, guys, I don't have a wonder anymore. I'm poor. But they know better. They know he, he's a slow snake. They know. And they're trying to dent him in. Keep goes down. He actually had a good amount of defenses here, but he didn't have anything like this. And uh, now he's kind of looking like he's about to get snacked. This Rus monk is not capturing the sacred side. And maybe it's not a good idea to capture. Maybe we should just wait till yellow dies. And then capture. I can't believe that after fighting this whole time, green and teal, they're gonna eliminate yellow and they're the ones who stay together. And I gotta say, green had a pretty bad spawn, considering, right? He was between four players. Like, there were two players above him, right? One player left of him, and Roos right there. Derek's are pumping. Cauldron's defending. And they're just going for... I mean, he has... Yellow has so many resources, by the way, still. His, like, resources feels like are not moving at all. Doesn't have a lot of wood, by the way, but... It's like, do you need it? Oh, that's gonna be a disruption. And, uh, only 50,000 food remain. Mm -hmm. So, in about 10 minutes, he will run out of food, guys. I'm just saying, he's gonna run out of food. Does green have enough for wonder or teal? Teal? I mean, he's cooking, right? Coltrane? Okay, Coltrane does not have enough for wonder. He's making traders. Yo, he's... Okay, he's making a decent trade now. Three gold, twelve gold. Okay, he really needs to change the... The traders. And yellow? He could buy another wonder. Actually. He could. But is he gonna? That I'm not sure. Yo, 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 that's a lot of units. I mean, English looks like he has a big army, but this is like pure men at arm knights. And yeah, this is gonna get moved down. That's a lot of bombards. I think we have like six bombards total. 
getting mowed down. Now, green is coming in hot. But again, these are kind of crap units. They could wear them down, slowly, but surely. Then Elsback is popping. No relic in Elsback, unfortunately. Holdrens go down. The workers are going down, 41 to go. The relics are slowly dropping out of the uh, the towers as well. And where's yellow gonna go? Oh, Spaskaya's dead, so I... Okay. And Rus is capturing the sacred sites now. He will be attempting Sacred Site W. Can he hold? He's getting a 26 gold trade too. Oh god, his traders are going all the way up. <laughs> Should make a wall here. It is what it is. He, oh. Yo, you gotta capture it though. He, he is not capturing it. Mm. Okay. Green? What's his economy like? 96 workers. Okay, he's pumping some gold. Should get some more wood, probably. And I think it's gonna, Green is gonna try to landmark snipe yellow. Or at least dent in his economy even more. Teal does not, is not capturing Sacred Set still. He might go for a wonder, actually. I mean, I, I gotta say, he's cooking. He is cooking. Slowly, but... Wait, what? Wait, what? He just built transport ships, and then he sent the units around and lost them all. Huh? That's not a... Forty-five traders. For uh, Teal, who is still not capturing a sacred site. I think he just completely potatoed and forgot. Mm -hmm. Another keep. Yo! Oh, he might be waiting, actually. He might be waiting till the keeps are done, to be fair to him. Because he just moved it, right? So he knows it's not kept. And yellow's got a massive army. Damn, brother. He is running out of food, though. 36 workers, 164 army. Can he even hold this? I don't... I don't know. I feel like yellow is about to about to bust someone's cheeks. Okay, he's pushing through. He's going on green. He can't landmark snipe green because Berkshire is behind the, the wall. But he can dent them in quite hard. Heal, still not making the sacred side move. And yellow is going for green. He has decided he's had enough. Mm -hmm. And listen, he might not be able to eliminate him, but he can actually kill everything from green because it's all open now. It's open season. And if that happens, and then Teal gets the sacred sites, then he can hold one and one, I think. Like, yeah, he's getting enough resources. And he also is uh, buying stone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, that, that is buying stone. So he can go for Wonder and Sacred Side. Maybe he wants to go for both. Chatting it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got some relics there. He's got all the upgrades from the monastery. Might as well. No, don't get landmark sniped.
Shit so fast. Oh, no. <laughs> because he made the wonder both players are gonna kill him. <laughs> because again, when you the moment you place the wonder, you don't even have to start building it. The enemies see that you're you're building a wonder. So now green is attacking him because they both know now how oh, he can make a wonder. <laughs> Oh no! Not like this! <laughs> Yo, that's the face, dude. He just, he just snitched on himself. Dude. Oh god! <laughs> oh god, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> that is funny as fuck. This is a pretty dented epic fit, I gotta say. Is this the most dented epic fit we've had? And not just Diamond Edition, just in general. It seems like a dent up. From, from the fucking Observer not working to the orange getting up. <laughs> it just blows. I just asked this as the most dead that I've made. And green donates half of his heart. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <sighs> Alright. Yo, that was. That was a good one. That was a good one. And now yellow, I mean, let's look at green resources. Not looking good. Not looking good. Atri, I mean, listen, he he's kind of out of juice a little bit. Now he can just trade and get the juice back, but... He had like 40,000 gold in him. That is funny as fuck. And the Dentoff continues. The units are, are still pumping. Now, yellow has a lot more gold in it. Dude, I don't know if I'm getting allergies or what, but my nose is so itchy. People with allergies, you know what I mean. My eyes are not feeling good. I'm about to sneeze all the time, but I'm not. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'm allergic to dented gameplay. <laughs> Who knows? Allergic to bad wonders? Dude, that wonder was epic. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, green is kinda on fire, and I don't mean that in a good way. Yeah, he's definitely on fire. Damn. Damn. Guys. It's been a journey. This is an FFA that's been going for over two hours, but we've been this in in the we've been in this bitch for over three hours. From now on, in an if an FFA is over an hour, I'm disqualifying all the players. Damn. Economy. 153,000. 
one top lad gets the W. Congrats, brother. Congrats. I mean, he did kill Orange too. And Perma, true. GG's. Zakola killed two and a half thousand units. That is the most units killed with second place, I think. For sure. For sure. One top ladder with 2.3k. Matt Boss <laughs> with six. Tagas with two. <laughs> Yo, he killed a building, but he also got a star for having the lowest amount of units lost and lowest amount of buildings. That's pretty cool. GG's, guys. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say the last free-for-all we're doing will be the Conqueror one. And let me tell you, I got a mold inducing seed if you will it's a mold inducing seed that there's a little tease for you guys for the conquer edition of mega random nomad and then after that most likely 95.2 percent the next free for all will be oasis with standard spawns that's it for watching on youtube thanks so much for watching i appreciate you i hope you enjoyed this game if you're watching on youtube let's keep going